Ah, um, yeah, I just woke up and we're gonna play some gone home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I actually edit the sound and stuff? It's because it's really loud. I don't want it to overshadow my beautiful, sexy voice. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we just opened the closet, or the hidden panel. In the library or something, or in the dad's office. So, we will go investigate. We will investigate that shit. Alright. Lights. Don't miss anything. No, don't close it. I'm scared. Just keep that shit open. Bunch of newspaper clippings and let's see the map okay ghost hunter salmon Lally secret house investigation log hidden compartments found oh so there's three hidden compartments one extra her room one where we are and then one outside okay so the search continues do we get to keep that all right good good anything? No, it's just more newspaper clippings. Oh, was this a secret compartment? We're here. Okay. But down floors. Okay. Also, oh, there's another one next to the dad's office and one over here. Okay, and I was already here, so let's go back down and look at the other ones. Okay, so if I put two here, I want to say here, could be wrong. Oh, okay. There you go. Misfits. Is that it? October 29th. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Ooh. Alright, so let's first. Second camp. Okay, well, do I get to keep that? Yeah. Heaven, at the edge of the world. Private, do not read! <laughs> Private, do not read. I watch a lot of How I Met Your Mother. Ooh, okay. Lots of reading. You can pause. Do do. And I will read this on my own time. I had to sneeze. Sorry for the cut right there. Boop, boop, boop. Wait. F no, just two. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. There's another hidden thing. Right here next to the guest room. So, let's just go there. I'm going to keep doing this because I don't know where I'm going to be. I went up the stairs. I need a... Well, I guess there's not really much I can do. I have to go this way. Alright. 
So where am I when I... Where am I? Mom and Dad's bedroom. I don't want to be in Mom and Dad's bedroom. So I'm going to walk out. And this is the attic. So I'm looking at the attic. I have to walk back. And make a, a quick... Yeah. So... Is there a loose panel somewhere here? Yeah. Oh, there's the Ouija board. Put that right there. Alright, so can I... Yeah, I was going to say. Can I put them all together? Okay. 0, 051. That's not too bad. Okay. Z 0, 051. Let's go to her room. This is not her room. <laughs> I think this one's her room. Right here. There you go. So odd to have a... 0... 50... 1. Bam! Well, Alright, so that's Lonnie. She's pretty. I like her hair. I like red heads. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry. But I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Ah! <laughs> I knew it! Been rooting you guys. There's the shaked soda you feel like. I knew it. Good for you. This is adorable, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. I right, so I saw that I had more keys. Okay, so that was a spare key hit. Okay, oh that was just the key to the house, and this is the basement key. So we can. I guess we can go down to the basement now. And was this the door? I remember this. I think this was locked. So. Tag says basement. Okay. So I guess that's still not it. No. No secret panels underneath the thingy. Can't think of the word. Stairs. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Turn that light. There's nothing. Itinerary. How did I not see this? Okay, Katie's departure. She's going to Amsterdam. This is how you know America's fucked up. Look how high we are. We're above everyone else in the world. Go USA! Um, where'd the fuck is the basement? Oh, two basement. Wow, okay. I'm dumb. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Alright, alright. So we're going to go to the basement. That's where we're going to see the mutilated remains of our family. I hope not. It is dark, but there's always light. That's what I like about this game. There's always light. Okay. Read note. No, no. I. Is this supposed to be a scary game? I have yet to realize this yet. Um. Okay, whatever. Read. I would like to cordially thank you for having me to, oh, to having me to your abode for Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flav 
flavorful potatoes. And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long. But it was pretty funny how impossible it was for your dad not to be awkward for the more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially, yours, your close friend and confident, or confidant, Lonnie D. She wish she had the D. Right, let's go. Uh, dear Miss De, so De Soto. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in, a, uh, in kind for being such a gracious host to the festivities at your father's estate. This, this grammar, your father's estate. Following the aforementioned meal with my parents, uh, your family Thanksgiving feast was more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. One especially appreciated that time I spent, or I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who was also a lovely woman with s sterling taste and refined air. Okay, and uh, let's do this again, same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madame Samantha Greenbrier. Shaking soda for you. I believe in you. Um. Well, let's go this way. Oh, what's that? I know you can. Samantha and Lonnie. Aw. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. Aww. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night where it's just quiet and we're alone we say I love you I'm extremely teared up not even lying oh no notes uh, is this the same thing more about the menstrual cycle the ovum starts to develop while the ovum is developing I don't want to read this I, I don't want to read this You can. It's right here. And kind, amazing, intelligent, talented, light-hearted, important, and nice. Um, is there something else? Oh, it's another binder. Ah, la 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 la. Okay, so there's the furnace thing. It's on fire. Lights. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, okay, college. Congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you uh, your admission to creative writing track on of the Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars for its 1995 session. We believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community based on your portfolio and academic record. I'm also pleased to offer you financial aid. Someone just... I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans, like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Ah, oh. What a beesh. I would be sad. I would be devastated. What's this? I have a feeling what they got each other. Cuties. Um... Gandalf's book. What? Oh, Granddad's books. Not Gandalf's books. I mean, it could have been Gandalf's book. Mason's Pharm uh, Pharmacy Soda Fountain welcomes you to Boone County Youngsters. Hmm. Yup. Ah, uh, I see something about Greenbrier. It has something to do with them. What does this say? 
Dear Terence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author first published manuscript of this monumental occasion read it this afternoon. I cer certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's work is an excellent... Extraditional... Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Read. With father's love and encouragement. Richard Greenbrier. I said Terrence is the son. The granddad is Terrence. Or Green, uh, Richard. And... It's the birth certificate. This is my certificate of... No, naturalization. Fancy. Okay. I don't want to miss anything. But there's more rooms, so... Let's go here. Here's a... Is that, is that supposed to be a bed? Okay, so there's going to be a cassette. Shaking sodas for you guys. Miss Samantha Greenbrier, can I open this? Dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I know you'll be able to tell. You'd love Mexico, and I think probably the native here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about al algebra, allegra. I don't know. And it's first. Oh, al oh, okay. The the captain. That's what they're talking about. I lie in bed and I almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't been, I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough of that. You let your last letter got me to the date before we started driving back up north. Hmm. No, well, they're being cute again, but I think they're gonna have some problems soon because she's leaving. That is what I think. She's leaving. There's gonna be some problems. What's that say? X-ray specs. Okay, whatever. In my opinion, that's what... Okay, here's the... Ah! La 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 No. Oh, uh, there's... Let me just quickly... Glance over here. And, uh, look at this postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing you from Multima Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running at uh, this school has been to Oregon, but it's really cold and rainy and shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here, because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you are coming. Ah, here you come. That's they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Okay, Girl Scout, set list, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate, self. <laughs> Hashtag selfies, Girl Scouts, and I think that says denial. Todd's band lost their singer. Oh no, Todd not Todd. Sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary nope. situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Bet you are, sweetie. I bet you are. Okay, I'm gonna suck it up and go into that dark room.
Hmm. You should make it work. Okay, this is actually really dark. Oh, I can't really, I can't even move. Oh, wait, but there's something here. Let's go back into the light. Ah, okay. One case of brandy, two cases of something, one barrel of whiskey. Yeah, okay. That's all that is. I don't have a combination for that lock either. So let's just go this way. I almost thought that that was someone. I got really scared. But it's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Light on and pillow. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to look at this room and then probably end this episode here. So hopefully we get some more pieces of the story. It smells like Team Spirit. Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. I I don't know if I missed it, but why am I the Psycho House Girl? <sighs> hmm. Whatever. Miss, dear Miss Greenberry, I appreciate the time and effort you put in writing letters. It showed initiative and well written, but it has not changed my mind on the matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student in doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has uh, been punished for their part of this incident, the fact is no guilty partner ever came forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest, lettering this, uh, suggest letting this issue drop. Stop doing that behind me. Uh, as it will be only unwanting attention to yourself, and which I believe you claimed this whole incident in the first place. So you don't want attention towards yourself. You want to just hide alone. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. I want pizza. Like her band. There's a cassette And somewhere. our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect right formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. <laughs> Okay. Step it back. Lonnie doesn't even get money. Label, what's that? Girl justice. Now. Put that right there. Okay, let's put this in. Okay. I don't think I missed anything. And now, oh, oh, I'm in here now. Uh, can I unlock this? Yay! All right. So I'm going to end the episode off right here. If you like this, please. But actually, comments for what you like would like for me to do next. Um, I'm going to still do this. I'm also playing Watch Dogs. Um, no commentary on that. It's just a straight up game. I would like to get a better microphone for when I play that or any other further games. So uh, I'm just going to play some Watch Dogs. I've never played it before and uh, I just thought, hey, fuck it. I'll record it. Can I turn on the lights? No. Before I ex ex I'm just going to... Oh, there's the lights. Alright, anyway, thank you all for watching.